What is up, ladies and gentlemen? And this is day 51 of Autodesk Fusion. So today what we're working on is an animation, and we're going to get our feet wet when it comes to animation. But also we're going to make a geometric net. So we're going to take a cube, and then we're going to disassemble it to where it makes a geometric net. This is something I'm going to have my students do. Um, at figure one, it shows good animation practice on just a simple object before you do anything too crazy. And then also, um, you get to understand geometric nets and how they work a little bit better. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm going to click on new design, and I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to create a rectangle. We'll do from center, and I'm going to create an 80 by 80 rectangle. Hit finish sketch, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude this up 10 millimeters and then into a 45 degree bevel. Just because when I start to assemble those sides, I want those uh, bevels to meet up nice and neat. Next thing I'm also going to do is, uh, under operation, create this as a new component. Before I do anything else, we need to make our sides. So you could spend time making your sides, but we're going to do this is a little bit easier. We're going to use move copy and we're going to click on components and we're going to select this component to create a copy. And so when I pull it up, it makes, not only does it make it a, an exact replica of it, but it also makes it a separate component as well. And that'll help us in that assembly side when, when we go here in a little bit in a second. I'm going to do this two more times because uh, when it comes to a rectangle, or sorry, this cube, you have, um, I would guess, say, six sides. Let's try that again. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. Talking and working just ain't working today. There we go. Click those two, create a copy, slide it down. There we go. Now we got four sides. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. And I'm going to move that those two. Let's try that again. Create a copy and slide those right on back. So now what I've got is I have six sides for my cube. I'm going to take my very first one and I'm going to right click that and ground it. The reason being is that I just don't want this piece to move when I'm doing my constraints here in a moment. But these other ones are welcome to move. And if anything, I'm going to go ahead and just get them out of my way. All right, now let's start to do our constraints. So anytime you notice when you move something, let's go back here. Let's, let's, when you start to move things out of the way when you're trying to assemble, this little tab up here will pop up and you can either capture this position, like I want these pieces to be here for right now, or you can revert it and it'll bring everything back to where it was. So if something's in a particular spot and you just want to pull it out to investigate, and then put it back, you can just hit revert position and it'll throw everything there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit capture position because I want these pieces out of my way. So now let's do joint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to join the center of this face with the center of that face. We're gonna do a rigid constraint and so everything's looking nice and good so far. Let's do another one. Let's join the center of this face with the center of this face. And everything is looking all right. Click OK. Click on joint again. So we got the center of this with the center of that. Now every once in a while, it'll make an odd arrangement. So you might have to flip this axis down here, uh, depending on if you clicked on the wrong work planes. Go ahead and click OK. Joint, center of that with the center of this. There we go, that's probably run too. So the faces are matching, but they're not quite aligned up. So you either have to flip your axis if you did the wrong work planes, or if these are inverted, you might just go ahead and spin this around. And then click OK. Alrighty, and last but surely not least, we're gonna join. We're gonna do uh, center of that. We'll, we'll see how that does for me. Uh, nope, we're gonna have to rotate as well and then click OK. So now we have our cube built. So let's go ahead and disassemble it. Let's make an animation of that. 
So I'm going to click on design over here and I'm going to click on animation. So it opens up this window and down here is a timeline window of how you want these products to disassemble. When it comes to this, I really recommend you just click around and you play until you try to figure it out because so many things happen can happen really quickly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on transform. Now under this transform, we're going to pick a piece and figure out what do we want to happen to that piece. And I want it to lay down flat right here. So it's going to come out. Let's do 40 and then 90 degrees and then down 40. And that looks okay. We can kind of manipulate that to where it becomes a perfect lineup. Um, I don't really think that's too um, concerning, but we're going to go ahead and add, I want to click on split those transforms and then click OK. So to see if everything's good so far, I'm just going to hit spacebar and it shows what I know in my animation so far. I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to click on transform components and we're going to transform this piece right here. We're going to pull it out, rotate it. Where's my rotate? There it is. Rotate wheel. Let's try that again. Here it is. This one I'm looking for. Rotate it 90 degrees and bring it down 40. Split transforms. That way it'll, it'll pull out and pull down and not just take it straight there. Um, you can just, if it's up to you on, on what you want to do there, but let's we'll see what we got so far. Now, you notice that my camera view automatically changes. When you're doing this animation stuff, the view down here on what you're using automatically gets captured. At the very end, I'm going to pick a view, delete all the other ones, and then pick one view. That way my view is static and all those pieces are moving in front of me and I'm not really getting disoriented. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move the next couple pieces. Transform components. Now I want these three pieces to move all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and this allows me to select these three pieces all at the same time. We're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to pull over and then we're going to rotate. And that's not quite where I want. This seems like going the wrong direction. So let's let's uh let's try to rotate first. Yeah, let's rotate first. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this down. And there we go. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the control key. I'm gonna deselect that. And then now the only thing I'm moving are these last two pieces. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna continue what I was doing earlier. Move this over 40, rotate it about, I might have to bring this piece up now. And then holding down the control key, I'm going to now deselect this one. And then this is the last piece moving. So I'm going to bring this around. And I have a feeling this is going to rotate really oddly around me. And that's because the axis in which it's rotating about um, is selected to be arbitrarily out here. And since I'm trying to move all these pieces at the same time, I'm going to have to adjust them. So if you want to move one piece at a time, that's totally fine. And if anything, it might be a little bit easier to manipulate. I was just trying to go ahead and see if I could uh, go for the full disassembly quickly. All right, and then click OK. Does that disassembly look all right? Looks good to me. Now let's go ahead and change our view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these other views. Right click and delete. All right. Now it's going to capture a view automatically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange this in such a way to where it's taking up the most amount of the screen space, fully disassembled, and my little icon of my camera on the bottom right is not going to be interrupted. So let's see how we did there. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we just made a cube net and we disassembled it. Here's the next thing I'm going to do for tomorrow's video is I'm going to talk about how can you disassemble this in a different way, but not have to make a different design. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but until next time, I'll catch you later and see you on the next video.